Now we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by editor of Beauty EQ, Trudy Brewer, who is here to tell us all about the latest hairstyles or the hair trends for autumn. Welcome, Trudy. Hello, Mal. How are you today? Very well. Good. So tell me about this latest trend. I will. And autumn is a time when most people look to change their hair colour. I can't believe we're talking about autumn already. I know, but it's, yeah. it's a bit depressing. We haven't quite had summer. Um, I guess the most exciting trend that we're talking about is bronze, and it's a blend of brown and blonde. Um, most of us used to call it mousy brown, but now it's mousy brown with a bit of glitter or a bit of shimmer. And they went, mousy brown, we can't really market that. No, they can't, we can't market it. Because not everyone suits being a, a really a bright blonde. No. It does not look good on some people. So who does suit this colour? Well, the thing I love about this trend is that it suits anyone. Even if you're a really dark brunette, you can have slices or ribbons of paler colour through the front or at the ends of your hair. The technique that salons are using is sombre, so it's the next generation of ombre. And basically there's no demarcation line between where the blonde starts and the brown finishes. So your natural colour is the, is the star of this, this new trend and it's just, just placing colour around the face, strategically placing colour around the face to give your hair a real lift. Just to light it up. Yeah. And it's just painted on? Uh, yeah, freehand painted on, definitely. So, wow. And there's a lot of new technology now around hair colour to en enable salons to do that. So what do you have to consider then uh, when you're thinking about this? I mean, your skin tone, your eye colour, all those sorts of things? Um, both. And I think the thing that puts people off hair colour is not finding the right shade. And often trends aren't what you need to follow, whereas this, this bronze sort of new trend is a, is a good example of that. So if what I do is I tell women to have a look at the jewellery they wear. Because if you wear gold jewellery and you love gold jewellery, then you tend to wear a more gold tone to your hair. Right, OK, that we can see on the screen there. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, and huh? if you're wearing... Uh, yeah, that, that is gorgeous. If you prefer silver jewellery, then you've probably got more peachy tones in your skin um, or cooler tones in your skin, and you should go for a cooler blonde, more platinum. What you, if you're like me and you have gold on one hand and silver on the other? Yeah, well, you see, that's the thing. These days there are no rules. But ten, the other little rule that you can go with is your eye colour, and then the iris of your eye are different flecks of colour. Yes. So if it's a more green tone, then you should go for a cooler blonde. If you've got more amber look to your eye, flecks in your eyes, then go for a warm goldy look. You're your hairstylist should be able to help you out with this sort of thing as well. They are they? so good now. And, you know, I think most women don't realise that you can walk into your salon or a new salon and say, I'd like a consultation, mm -hmm. and sit there and let them tell you what they think. You don't actually have to book in for an appointment. You can actually get a consultation. It's and, very important to have yeah, a good there's relationship a lot of with the stylist. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> there's a lot of tools in salons now that can allow you to find the perfect colour. So what about maintenance then? Great for maintenance, very low maintenance. Well, that's the this. Yeah. The only thing that you might need to watch with bronze is if you've got a grey coming through on the roots, you might just need your roots touched up with your natural tone. But less maintenance than we used to have with highlights. You know, we were in salons every six weeks getting them painted back on. Now, hair is much more relaxed, more lived in looking. Um, and a bit of regrowth is actually quite nice. Well, that's the thing, isn't yeah. it? A little bit of regrowth is actually on trend right now. Uh, totally on trend. Can yeah, we just keep that forever? Because that's really helpful. Yeah, and it's great for busy women who haven't got time to actually go to the salon every six weeks. Exactly, yeah. or don't have the money to go or to the salon every six weeks. That's absolutely right. So what have you brought in for us to have a look at? Well, this is a money saver. Um, Oh, look, I couldn't live without these tinted um, colour preserving shampoos and conditioners. It's to extend the life of your uh, colour. It extends the life of your colour, but it also knocks out all the brassy tones that you get with blonde addition to your hair. So this is a brilliant brand, Chill, it's a salon brand. In fact, they're all salon brands today that I've bought in. There are other options that you can get in pharmacy. But this one, yeah, and it's great, it's very purple. But and this is to take the brass out of your blonde, It takes the it? brassiness out of the bronze. Mm. Now, I would shampoo my hair with that, leave it on for a few minutes, you know, body wash, shave your legs, do whatever else you do in the shower and then wash it off. Okay. Once a week, it's fantastic, it's very nourishing. Um, there's also brown options and I've bought in the Di Lorenzo um, Nova Fusion Intense um, brand. This is a natural option using botanicals, um, kakadu plum and birch tree extract in there. Brilliant for a dark brunette who's had some blonde and it started to look quite brassy and they want to freshen it up and give it a mm. slightly red overtone. Okay, and, and I finally? Bought, I bought this one, careful, that may drip because it's been in my shower. Oh, it's obviously <laughs> got the seal of approval there. Uh, one of these have all been in my shower apart from the brown, but this one here I love because you can dial up the intensity. The lid switches oh, wow. around, so you can dial up. If your hair's looking very brassy, you can dial it to a four and get a really intense violet. That's fantastic. Or just nourishing with the one. I can feel the water on that one. I love these ideas, but yeah. you do need a good purple, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Trudy. Yeah, you're welcome. Now, for more of Trudy's tips, head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz. <laughs>